palimpsests. No, that's not a sexual deviancy. It comes from the Greek, palin, again, saw, I scrape. Palin, again, saw, I scrape. Romans had these wax tablets. They'd write on them and later scrape them off. And then they'd write on them again. That term got borrowed by another similar industry. The writing industry. Parchment was made from animal skins. You take the animal skins, you turn them into parchment, and that gets used for writing. Well, what if you don't like what someone else wrote on that parchment? Well, you could scrape it off and write on it again. Such a document was termed palimpsest. Palimpsest. Palin? Again? <laughs> again? Sarah Palin? Again? Saw. I scrape. Palimpsest. Well, here's a palimpsest from uh, the 5th or 6th century. Thank you, Wikipedia. You can see the ancient writing in the background over here, going up and down. And the overwriting on top of it over here going left to right. The, the monks' incantations and prayers. Here you see the overwriting, and there's the background. But how can you see it, the background, if it was scraped off? Well, sometimes they didn't scrape it off because... That's hard work, and some of those guys were lazy daisies. So they'd cover it up with milk and oat bran. Milk and oat bran? <laughs> I wonder if they used two scoops of raisins back then. Well, anyway, as time goes by, the milk and oat bran fade. And lo and behold, you can see the old stuff underneath. They started to call it scripto inferior. Inferior meaning underneath. One of those palimpsests became super duper important. It was tagged the Archimedes palimpsest. That's our boy right there. This time the background Archimedes stuff is going left to right, and the incantations and prayers of the monks are up and down, at least from this point of view. Archimedes, the math giant of 250 BC, wrote lots of his work on vellum. The good monks of centuries later see a better purpose for all those inexplicable devilish math writings on the vellum, which were written by who knows? So Archimedes' writings got milk and oat bran over. Into noble prayers, incantations, and hymns by the venerable monks. And so some heretofore unknown works of Archimedes were thusly revealed. His treatise on floating bodies the method of mechanical theorems, the Archimedean spiral, and the more, were almost lost to the world. I'd say we're pretty lucky. This is George Bull.